beautiful gypsy dance. A barn dance, perhaps you want, or an old polka. Or do you want some comedy? Or do you want some science? We'd like to know what's in your mind. And that's why we want a letter from you addressed to You Ask For It. Here's the address. You Ask For It, Box 323, Hollywood 28, California. And thank you. Attention, pupils. We have visitors today. And as I pass down the aisle, I would like you, I would like you to tell the name and where you are from. My, my name, my name is Elmer Jones, and I come from Salinas, California. And your name, young man? My name? Yes, your name. My name is Broadway Eddie, from New York City, and what a it. And your name, young man? My name? Yes, your name. My name is... My, my name is Frank Dyron Jr. And your name, young man? My name is Art Baker from Mishawa... Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm no dummy, it says here. <laughs> Let's do the great. Yes, sir. I'm here because I have a request from Barbara Mitchell of Cleveland, Ohio. That's her picture there. And it says, I'd like to read it to you. I once saw a famous ventriloquist who could hum out loud and drink a glass of liquid at the same time. At least it looked as if he drank it. Could you get another famous ventriloquist on your show so that I could study him carefully? Thank you, Barbara Mitchell. Well, now, I must talk about you a bit. This is Lester the Great, Barbara, and other people. Lester the Great is great because ventriloquists have called him great. Way back in the gay 90s, he started out and for 50 years has been all over the world in many places. Uh, you might call him the stepfather of Charlie McCarthy because Edgar Bergen was one of his pupils. He is really Lester the Great. That's enough about you. Yes. Now, uh, this, this, these uh, are all your figures, are they here? Yes, they are. This one here, I, I carved him when a boy starting out in business a good many years ago. And uh, he and I have been together and played all the principal cities of this country and Europe. Also, uh, we met, we played with many celebrities and famous stars of yesteryear, such as who, Frank? Oh, I, I like, I like Sarah Bernhardt, yes. And, uh, uh, the Will Rogers, that's right. And Houdini, and Weber and Fields. Oh, they were wonderful, weren't they? That's correct. And since then, in the modern times, uh, Frank had to retire and became, and I got a more modern figure, which was the uh, Broadway Eddie. Yeah, that, that, that's me. That's you. That's correct. Now then, what is this letter, Mr. Uh, uh, Baker? Well, now, uh, does he think that he can help you with answering this Well, request? we've been doing this for a long, long time, many, oh, for a good many years. Well, uh, did you start it? Oh, no. Oh, we originated that stunt that you were reading about in the letter, you know. The letter says, Eddie, listen. It says it looked as if he drank it. Is there anything phony about it? Wait, the way? no, there's nothing. It's legitimate. All Mr. Right. Mr. Dacre, it's legitimate, and we originated that stunt. I'd like to see it. Would you, you want to see it? I'm going to watch. You watch this. Okay. Come right over this way. Come right this way. Now, uh, Mr. Yes? I'll, uh, I'll do this stunt where I, uh, where I make the noise, you know? Yes. And when I make the noise, then you drink at the same time. That's correct. Now, what's the noise? Uh, the noise is like this. Like that, see? Yes. Now, when I make that noise, yes, uh, then, then you drink, okay? Okay. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Here goes the noise. Here goes the noise. Go ahead. You notice I greet. <laughs> yes, I know. You must greet once a day. Well, the doctor's ordered, you know. You inhaling. Oh, never mind the gags. Come on, hurry up. Make the noise. Mm -hmm. Go on, drink. I can't grunt all night. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Go on, drink, drink, drink. Mm. Thank you. 
Randy, that was great. You know any other stunts that you want us to do? Well, that was so wonderful. I didn't know you were so good. Why were there no lot of stunts? Well, I'll tell you, here is one that only you and the great Lester can do. Believe me. And I wonder if you're up to it right now. Well, sure, we're... Then a message came in on this uh, wireless telephone here. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And, uh, folks, seriously, I would like you to listen very attentively here because all of the sounds that come from this, all of the voices, I don't know, Lester calls a four, six people, an operator answers, there's a busy signal. All of that comes from the throat of Lester the Great. Listen closely. Are you ready to converse? Okay, go ahead, let it go. Uh, see if they're busy. <laughs> Darn thing is gung dunk or something. No, no, it, uh, there's something wrong there. Try it again, go ahead, try it again. Hello, hello, number, 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 Who's this? Lester. Lester? Yes. <clears throat> that's on the call. Who is it? Lester. Tell all the wire. Hello, Lester. Yeah. <clears throat> all the wire, will you? Yes. Hello, Lester. Yes. Are you doing anything tomorrow night? Tomorrow night? Yeah. No, we're not, I'm not busy. You know, you want to go there and see him tomorrow night? Well, I, I'm not doing anything. You want to go there and go see him? Well, tell all the wire. Hello, Lester. Yeah. All the wire, will you? Yeah. Hello, Matt. Yeah. Are you uh, out on tomorrow night? Tomorrow night? Yeah. Okay. Okay, you want to tell it. Tell all the wire. Hello, Matt. Yeah. All the wire, will you? Yeah. Hello, Victor. Yeah. See you tomorrow night? Okay. All right? Yeah. Tomorrow night, okay? Yeah, okay, okay. Hang out. They, they want to know tomorrow night. What, you said okay, didn't you? Why, certainly I did. Why, certainly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, what time was it the man said, huh? What, uh, what time? Well, eight, uh, what time? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Right, we got That's that right settled. Right well, I want to tell you, uh, Lester the Great, you deserve your title. And when you retire, the stage lost a great performer, but you've had so many pupils on the road and are still teaching today that we're grateful indeed that you answered this request of ours. And uh, you were too good, thank you, Frank. And you were good, Eddie, also. Thank you, Mr. Baker. And uh, to our letter writer who asked this, uh, I'd like to say that we got a great thrill because you did. Remember, you, you asked for it. it.